Hi Pisces, this is your friend Spellbound and today I'm going to do a quick reading for you because I saw something kind of interesting in the deck so I wanted to share it in case it resonates with you or with the person that you're seeing or if you're a cross watcher or any of that good stuff. So I'm not going to run down the whole list of cards because they were telling such an interesting story. I just laid out a lot asking questions. So I'm going to jump right to it. So actually, I get the feeling if you're dealing with a Pisces. So this is going to be for this is going to be a Pisces cross watcher video. And this is going to be for this week, the week of February. Today's the 9th, right? This is going to be for this week. I'm hearing possibly through Valentine's because I didn't do all of the zodiacs. I've just been doing earth signs lately. So now I'm, you know, starting on water. So to get right with it, you're dealing with the Pisces, your Pisces person, something to do with luck. Like they want a, a fortunate break with you. They want a chance with you. So your Pisces wants to get lucky with you help me find another phrase your Pisces wants to get lucky with you your Pisces is hoping to feel lucky something about luck with your Pisces it's like they're hoping but that will be the star card which is also here on the spread but yeah they kind of feel like this is their lucky break in a sense okay and um they're looking for good things with you they want to build they want to grow they have i don't want to say passionate dreams or passionate wishes wants or passion but usually also of a spiritual nature so you've fired up something in your pisces if you're dealing with a pisces you've definitely sparked a creative type of energy with them Okay, threes are also creativity. So you've, you've sparked that really well. Okay, three of pentacles, king of cups, eight of swords. Your Pisces wants to work with you. They want stability. You might be feeling, right, because this, this feels like it's somewhat of a new situation. This isn't... Um, you know, if you've been with your Pisces three years, five years, 10 years, this isn't for you. This is something brand new. Like if you met your Pisces like six months ago, six weeks ago, three months ago. Yeah, about three months sounds right. If you recently, for the most part, within a year or so, met your Pisces or, or under, your Pisces wants to build with you. Your Pisces, the love is growing. What your Pisces is seeing is that you might be not as receptive or they might be worrying about your thoughts and what do you think about the situation because you might be a little bit closed off to them. You might be a little bit closed off to them because you want to know, is your Pisces manipulating you, pulling on your heartstrings because you think they might want to get at your purse strings? So you want to know, does this love come with strings or is this something that's going to benefit them? So you've got doubts. You're the person with doubts, not your Pisces. Your Pisces seems to be very sure of what it is that they want from you, okay? So what's the other message with this Eight of Swords? You pretty much, yeah, you might be coming across as resistant and not necessarily receptive and you're not telling your Pisces why. You're not telling your Pisces the things they need to hear. You're not telling your Pisces I love you. Okay, and that's because you feel with these swords, things might be moving too fast and you're worried about being manipulated. Okay, the thing is, this offer of love, you're holding it out in front of you. You're being very subjective. You're examining this thing like it's something alien, something foreign. 
under a microscope that's what i heard it's like through the looking glass you're examining this thing so you've got uh boundaries see how they look like they're outside looking in you've stepped away you must be an air sign one of one of the the, the cross watchers signs has to be an air sign either aquarius gemini could even be a libra but for some reason it might be an aquarius right but you're examining this love offer and your pisces sees that okay the thing is with the nine of wands ten of pentacles this is usually like good foundation energy when people are coming together you know to put in the reserve and the resolve to build and to grow you got the knight of cups on the table so this is a love offer that can go somewhere but boundaries are up and it's you cross watcher but that's fine keep your boundaries up take your time and examine this thing right because it's deeper especially dealing with the pisces that love that emotion all that water take your time but just remember pisces you know their feelings get hurt quite easily ace of swords ten of cups and we have the high priestess that I clarified with the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So what the Ace of Swords is telling me is that for your person, and again, you've gotta be an air sign or have air, sun, moon, rising, not even Venus, sun, moon, or rising. The Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups is for your person. This is a brand new opportunity. I don't even think they could believe it at this moment. They probably, feels like luck to them you feel like a real lucky break to them so this is something that they've been looking for it probably just came out of nowhere for them but they've been looking for this so they're clear about what they want okay now before i move to the card next with the high priestess they're clear about what they want i wanted to double check this ace of swords and i pulled ten of swords tower king of swords they're clear about what they want because they had to cut something out that hurt them or they had to leave some type of uh, a betrayal something in the past it's like their, their life was i don't want to say ruined before but things came tumbling down for them before okay and um they actually that's why it's probably amazing that they can actually see a brand new beginning. The thing is, the High Priestess is a woman of mystery. So again, with the Eight of Swords and this High Priestess and the Nine of Wands, they don't really know your thoughts, how you feel. It's like you're guarding something, but at the same time, they might have some type of a secret or something that they haven't told you yet but they see you as a person of mystery and they are very attracted to you you are just so sexy and sensual to them I think they want to do like nice things to you and slowly if you catch my drift the thing with this too is that I think they are realizing or they're getting to understand that this is going to move a little bit slowly the seven of pentacles and the knight, since the knight of pentacles is like a slow moving energy seven of pentacles is when you you're confident that you're gonna see like the rewards your efforts your labors or whatever but it's also time sensitive it's timing so it's gonna be a minute before you can really see any fruition you know what I mean it's like are we there yet are we there yet so that's the thing they're probably coming to realize or maybe you're slowly starting to come around slowly starting to warm up or maybe that's something they want to see this is looking very good forget it look ace of Pentacles so they're confident you've got two aces on board Actually, there's another ace in here somewhere, I believe. Could be wrong. But yeah, they're they're confident that this thing is gonna be stable. The two of wands is a person that they're they're looking, they're choosing, they're looking for a path, they're looking what should I choose, which way to go. Um next to that you have the four of cups. The fours are always about stability, so they're 
hoping that this offer doesn't bore you and that you are content with it and that you're not gonna be you know passing it over but with the temperance and the star card temperance kind of like ask you you know get on get get on up get on up gee what is that james brown get on up so the tempest is telling you to like get on up and the star card is you know hopes uh wishes dreams manifestations so they're seeing like all of these good things with you and it seems to me with this like the ace brand new stars opportunities coming in it seems as though they know you're going to choose them or choose this chance or it even tells me that you are their choice okay um one thing i have to tell you because of the the high priestess she represents secrecy etc 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 and we know your person definitely has a past right moon card moon is always about things that were hidden the moon could be you know dark thoughts dark desires and stuff of that nature between the moon card Queen of Swords, Hangman, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands, Six of Cups, Six of Swords. I'll explain those two after. Between these cards right here, right? The Moon card, the Queen of Swords, Hangman, something came to light something came to light or there is something that they're patiently waiting to tell you there's something that you need to know or there's something that's going to come out right there's some type of information that's going to come out it seems as though something is going to be illuminated something about their past and it has to do with this queen of wands this queen of wands was cut out cut off you know, at some point, I could have sworn I saw the Justice card. Maybe it was like in the last spread. But there's something about their past. Because this is them leaving it behind with that Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. The Queen of Cups was love. So they either, either they were in a love triangle before. They might have had two women or, or two men or their person might have hurt them. Or they might have left one person for another person and got hurt but either way something went down in the past that they had to walk away from and it hurt it wounded them deeply I say past because we've got the six of cups and we've also got the six of swords these two sixes together six is the card of the lovers which also comes out it's about choices and it's about love past love we even have another six here on board, six of wands. So they overcame a situation. The six of wands made me feel like they were victorious. So it could have been like a legal battle. They could have been married before. But that six of wands, again, being at recognition, we've got the moon here. Like I said, something is going to come out or there's something that they're deliberating on telling you about in regards to this past. But they're over that. They left it. Okay, and these are the things that's probably making you nervous about why do they want you because you kind of could sense that there's a secret here. But the Knight of Swords and the Page of Cups is the way they've been coming at you because after all of this went down and they met you and it's not like this went down yesterday and then they met you today. This is their past. So this could have been years ago. This could have been like even like six years ago. You know, but it wounded them deeply. The thing is, they came at you so fast. You know, like they came in this love offer. They just threw it at you. It, maybe this is their MO. But you're going to have to talk to them and ask. Maybe this is how they approach all of their situations. So at the end of the day, this could be one of the things they're also thinking about. Like, that's their style and they can't help it. But the last time they felt so deeply for someone, all of this chaos happened, so they don't want to get hurt, but they're taking that chance with you. So find out if you know that's their MO, that's one scenario. The other reason why you had doubts 
was when I pulled the bottom of the deck. You might be wondering if this person is coming at you like so hot and so heavy, so passionate. So I don't know if they're like in and out a little bit or if their energy varies, but they're coming at you strong and hard. Right. And, you know, death can also be very sexual. So you might be, again, wondering, are they like trying to manipulate you for finances or is the passion going to end? And then it's just going to come out that they just wanted your coin. But I don't think so. I think this person really wants to work with you. And they're attracted to like, you know, the thought of having a stable home, especially if they never had one before. Because with this past that they had, things probably weren't stable. They see you as stable. You know, like I said, I kind of feel like you're an air sign. You could even be a Libra with all the coins on deck. You can also be an earth sign because earth signs are very stable. Okay, and if you're a little bit higher up on the ladder or if you're more balanced and structured, then, you know, you might have cause to worry. But you know what? I got one word for you, prenup. If it's moving that fast, get a prenup. Okay, um, the other thing I needed to tell you guys, because now we're like trying to figure out why this person is like moving so fast towards you. Knight of Swords over here, Knight of Wands over there. There's love coming at you with this person. So the thing is, some type of a burden. I'm wondering if you feel like this love offer might be burdensome. But you see, the Ten of Wands are usually about endings. It's like dropping the burdens, dropping the burdens. So the thing is, because I'm still wondering what it is that made them run from the past. And I'm wondering if it has something to do with this Empress, because the Empress is usually... Um, the parental figure or like the spouse or whatever. So if they had a husband or a wife that they had kids with, if they had another person they had kids with, was there some type of a burden? See, the thing is when this little tidbit of whatever went down comes out, they're worrying, are you going to cut them off? Is it going to cause an argument or a conflict? Right? Page of Swords five of wands or are you going to leave them and start entertaining other people can they fix this so things will be healed that's what they're worried about because for me the empress not only does she represent fertility when i do like private readings depending on like if the devil energy came out or something like that i go to the reproductive organ organs because it has come out where people have had S, you know STDs and stuff like that. So it could be something burdensome that they picked up. Maybe this spouse that they had cheated on them and brought home something for them or whatever and that's why they had to leave. So this might be secret that they're keeping because we got the moon the high priestess secrets. Right, it's something that needs to come out. I mean, technically, you would say the Ace of Cups and the Empress looks good. Ten of Wands, they're releasing burdens and they're bringing in a love offer. They see you as the Empress, they want you. They see you as the Emperor, they want you. But just keep that in the back of their mind that there's something from their past that they might want to tell you or bring out. And it could be something along those lines. Or it could even be like those are just the little details that cause that tower moment that they had. And they're kind of like worrying that you might want to leave them or cut them off and see other people or that you are going to leave them for somebody else. But with the sun card here, it seems as though they seem to have the confidence that they can fix whatever it is. And these are their hopes as well. They're hoping for the best. So when whatever it is comes out, I think they want to know, are you still going to love them? Are you still going to be attracted to them? Or are you going to pull away from them? Or are you going to stay and be their lover? Or are you going to choose to leave them alone? Because with the hermit and the lovers, 
this could be a person that's like just choosing to stay to themselves so i guess they kind of want to know are you going to like reject their their love or are you going to stay and build like a steady home with them stable foundation page of pentacles a ace of four of ones i'm so sorry right so that's the thing they just want to know that you're not going to leave them that you're going to choose to stay with them and build this home with them okay the chariot is about moving forward and getting things done going places make things happen so this is like their hopes and their wishes for you guys is that you move forward and do these things the world is completions of everything you needed to complete so you can begin new cycles and new chapters together so this person wants to move into a new chapter with you this person being your Pisces so if this resonates or if this helps someone I hope it does again this is for the cross watcher dealing with a Pisces